Every day, several Japanese tourists visit the Cathedral of Antwerp in Flanders. They come to see Rubens' masterpiece, Descent from the Cross, specifically, and very often they are moved by the experience. In this video, we will explain why. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. We really appreciate it. Few people in Flanders know that the Japanese visitors are moved because of a book called A Dog of Flanders. It is a novel by English author Marie-Louise de la Ramy, published in 1872 with her pseudonym Ouida. The story takes place in the Belgian countryside, specifically in the village of Hoboken, near Antwerp. It goes as follows. Nello is a young orphan boy who lives with his grandfather after the death of his mother. The two of them have a simple yet humble life, but their circumstances are far from prosperous. Despite their poverty, Nello finds solace and joy in the company of his faithful companion, Patrasha, a large drafting dog who was once abandoned and left to die. Nello and his grandfather take care of Patrasha, nursing him back to health and forming a deep bond with the loyal canine. Patrash, in turn, becomes an invaluable member of their small family, assisting them in their daily routines by pulling their milk cart to the town to sell milk. The dog's strength and dedication become vital in their meager livelihood, although they struggle to make ends meet. Throughout their arduous lives, Nello and Patrash find solace in their shared love for art, particularly the works of the renowned Flemish painter Peter Paul Rubens. They often visit the local cathedral, where they admire Rubens' masterpieces from afar, yearning for a closer look. Tragedy befalls the pair when Nello's beloved grandfather passes away, leaving him alone and vulnerable. In the wake of this devastating loss, Nello faces a series of misfortunes that further plunge him into hardship. He loses his job and is left homeless, with only Patrash by his side as a source of comfort and support. One fateful Christmas Eve, Nello and Patrash find themselves in Antwerp, where they stumble upon an open church door. Seizing the opportunity, they enter and spend the night sheltered within its sacred walls, finding temporary respite from the bitter winter cold. However, the dawn reveals a tragic and heart-wrenching scene. Nello and Patrash are discovered the next morning, lifeless and frozen lying before the magnificent Rubens altarpiece within the church. Ouida spent only a few days in Antwerp in 1871. Her book, A Dog of Flanders, was published the following year in Great Britain, and later went across the Atlantic to be distributed in the United States. When she died in 1908 in Italy, the New York Times ran a lengthy obituary about her life and work. Ouida was depicted as a lover of dogs who spent most of her earnings on her beloved pets. A Japanese diplomat, Masujiro Honda, who was stationed in New York, was touched by the article. He was fond of dogs too, so he sent the book to his friends back in Japan. In his letter he wrote, This story is a masterpiece, and the Japanese will love it. After Honda's friends translated the book that same year, it became one of the most well-known children's stories for many generations. Cultural observers believe Nello resonates to the Japanese as an example of a Western samurai, brave, dignified and selfless, who dies with nobility in service to a higher ideal. Patrash is viewed as a symbol of loyalty, devotion and duty to one's master, values which are esteemed in Japanese culture. More than 100,000 copies of A Dog of Flanders have been sold worldwide, and the novel has been adapted for cinema and television, including five Hollywood versions. In Belgium, Willy van der Steen devoted one album of his influential cartoons, Suski and Whisker, or Bobette Bobette, to the story. Every year, thousands of international tourists visit the Antwerp city centre to follow in the steps of Nello and his Dog of Flanders. As such, Nello and Patrash have become prominent ambassadors of Flanders. Tourists can visit a small statue of Nello and Patrash in Hoboken. The characters are also immortalised in stone by the Flemish artist Bartist Vermeulen in front of the Antwerp Cathedral.
the public has embraced the sculpture as it is fast becoming another must-see while visiting Antwerp.